Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name's Nick and today we're going to be looking at 30 Flights of Loving by Blendo Games. You may remember a little while ago I did Gravity Bone, which is actually the uh, precursor to this one. And the guys over at Blendo Games are so awesome that before I could even email them and ask them uh, any chance on a review copy for this one, they already sent it to me. So uh, big thumbs up to you guys for actually... Uh, you know, being on top of that stuff, I really appreciate that, and it is a, a rare and wonderful thing that things work out that well. So, we're going to take a look at this one, we're going to do another little bit of a, uh, a short narrative, like a 15 minute uh, first person espionage-esque adventure, and uh, let's give it a shot. Oh, also, also worth mentioning is the uh, entire game of Gravity Bone is available uh, right in this as well. I mean, it's a free game, so it's not like that's a huge deal or anything, but it's nice that they included it. So you sort of have the entire experience uh, right at your fingertips here in this uh, wonderfully Steam-enabled game. And uh, developer commentary is also a very nice touch. Uh, let's hit the credits real quick just because I think they deserve to be shown off. I do like to give credit where credit is due. And there it is. It's due. Let's head in and see what happens. So uh, much like the original, this one is also based off of uh, what looked like a, a Quake 2 modified engine tweak. Uh, with, you know, obviously much more modernized options and such. And uh, I'm curious to see where we go with this one, if this is going to be similar to the, what the first one was like, or if this is going to be a little bit more developed or polished or anything. Um, I would be perfectly happy if it was just like the first one, actually. I thought that was very well done. So first door locked on our left here, behind us, wall. Alright, so here's our basic keys. I think we're pretty familiarized with those by now. I like that nice little touch of the music notes, uh, allowing you to visualize that there is sound playing there. I wonder if I can turn it off, if I can touch it. it. Doesn't look like it. I think it did actually activate, though. Uh, but nice touches on the walls, you've got, you know, very thematic type of stuff, a nice color palette. Um, everything about these, uh, these guys' games, I think, is very well packaged. Like, they really do consider the bigger picture, and if you look at this, uh, you know, aesthetically, it is very consistent, and it does follow a very nice theme. I mean, just look at the, all the different colors we're dealing with here. There's like a tan, a brown, a gray, a nice pop of a red, and then some nice uh, faded out sort of vintage -y looking yellows, and then that sort of turquoise blue, um, and then the pale greens. It really does fit into a nice color palette together. So, uh, Prohibition License. So here we go, we're setting the, uh, the timestamp here. And, uh, failure to keep this establishment free of alcohol result in penalty of quesomancy? Okay, well, uh, alcohol-free beverage, that sounds sad. I'm gonna just have all of it. Oh, I just noticed this guy's got a minigun under his counter there. Um, maybe if I drink enough of this alcohol-free beverage, I will become drunk on something else, who knows. So there's that. Okay, cool. So what's up, man? I'm uh, going to be the barkeeper, I guess, for now. No, maybe not. I think they want that job. Drink that one as well. I've cleaned you out. Your entire establishment. Sorry to say. I'm sorry for your livelihood. This one clearly, I mean, look at this wall here. Only that one jumps out at me. I wonder why that one. Is there a reason? It's also lit up. I actually quite like this art as well. I like when an artist isn't afraid to color a little outside the lines. <laughs> as long as it's intentional, and it's clearly intentional here. Alright, so what do we have? Oh wow, particle effects. What do you do? Oh, it closes the door. Figured. And I'll mention it again, I mentioned it in the, uh, the other review, or the other impressions video that uh, the aesthetic reminds me a little bit of Team Fortress 2, and I think especially this wood texture, more so than anything. I think I even know how you make something like that in Photoshop, too, but I will keep that to myself, because that's not relevant. Alright, so, green door. Hello, Anita. Are you going to shoot me to death? You probably are. Oh! Ha! That's awesome! <laughs> you just touch her and you get all this, uh... You know, information just streamed right into your brain. Midnight Hobo, that sounds like a very powerful alcoholic drink. 
So of course I will imbibe. What is this gold? Looks like a case or something. Maybe it's a pizza box. I don't know yet. Oh, this guy's clearly got a story to him. Look at his face. I love it. I actually really totally am into the uh, the blocky people. I think they really are very cool and stylized, and they have a lot of personality. We've got some geese here. Can I take them? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, you too? <laughs> I feel a little mean doing that, but you know, they're geese. They like to swim. I'm sure they'll recover. Um, what do we have on the wall here? Kugat Airfield. Alright, so we're reenacting uh, that scene from GoldenEye, I'm gonna guess. I get all the guns, and I am ready for action. Oh yeah. I like this. Gearing up. Drink that as well. Passports. Cool, cool, cool. That's a nice touch that it zooms in like that for you. I think they definitely uh, went a little bit further with the, uh, the the exposition element here. Oh wow, you can even close those. And there's clearly more stuff that's interactive as well. I'm going to get all the bullets, all the drunk, and we are going to outspy everything with all of our guns. Okay, we're counting. Uh, maybe that's a lost reference. I hope it is. Um, let's talk to him. Forger, safe cracker, pilot, best man. Okay, he's a cool guy too. That's really incredible how you can establish a likable character in like five seconds. <laughs> can I have this rifle as well, or is this your? Yeah, that's yours. I don't want to take that away from you. You're good with that. All right. Let's see what this is about. More. Okay, that's not anything. And I clearly can't seem to take these sweet 3D glasses. Otherwise, I would go watch, uh, you know, the last Harry Potter movie or something with them. That's not going to happen. Let's move on. Uh, there's another goose I can mess with. Oh, okay. Oh, it's got all its little, little babies with it. How nice. I'm not going to mess with it too much then. Uh, some nice stuff I can smack people with, maybe? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Just hoping for a nice half-life moment. Uh, maybe a crowbar or two. Alright, we're ready to go. You guys ready? I hope you stocked up on ammo, because I kind of took all of it. Hey, Anita, what's going on? Oh! I don't like that. We were just about to be friends. Now we've got to kill each other? Does she have a fake arm? Wow. And a leg. I'm sorry, you've seen better days. This is looking like a moment from Kill Bill right now. Jeez. I certainly wasn't expecting that. So, uh, stuff clearly went down. Oh, man. Where am I going to carry this guy out to? And what about Anita? I can't leave her. Man, you're gonna pull through. Just hang on. Where are we going? I, I gotta hurry, I can't... Oh, he's gonna die, I can't let him die. Alright, it kinda just jumped me on a path, it looks like. Maybe it's all the people running by. Does nobody see me, like, carrying a dying man? What's going on here? Cases? Oh yeah, you can put him on the cart. We can cart him around. Uh, where are we going, though? There's, like, no places to really move. This is like Spy Tale Abridged. And sweet music playing, by the way. Okay, clearly we've just jumped ahead a bit. Is that... is that Anita? Is she okay? Or is this earlier? This might be earlier, because I... yeah, I don't see her being... oh, in her leg and arm, her back. That is some very, uh, detailed storytelling, I have to say. Although it does rely quite a bit on the person playing the game, uh, to make these jumps. Because I know, well, I know even myself, I'm not always that observant. Uh, so I could imagine very easily having not noticed that if I was just playing, you know, quickly. It's a, a nice little slice that they chose to show. 
It does definitely establish some character. What is this about? The camera on a balloon. Oh, Policia. Okay, so we're being watched. She's just gonna throw orange bits for a while. Alright, let's check out what's back here. Oh, hello. I don't want to go in here. No, I'm in here. Oh, hello. Open the door again, please. Hello. Can I come in? No. How about over here? Anybody home? No. Bye-bye. So, before it said he was best a best man. I wonder if that was the cake or something, maybe? Somebody's getting married. Maybe Anita's getting married. Oh, man, we got decisions. Were we going up or down? Oh. I hear cats. Where are cats? I want them. Hi, kitty. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of you. What are you doing up here, guys? There's many, many kitties up here. Okay, um... I'm hesitant to click on them knowing <laughs> what happened with the geese. I don't want to, like, throw a nice cat off a balcony. That's just cruel. I'll pet the kittens, though. No, you don't want that. Okay. That's okay, let's keep going. I should probably be going down. Be careful, don't fall off. Is there like a cat lady living on the 8th floor or something? No roof access. At least I know that uh, if the game wants me to go somewhere or do something, it doesn't seem to be too shy about just moving me there. <laughs> so I don't feel like I'm gonna go too wrong. Um, oh, are these the 30 flights? They probably are. Um, geez, alright, so we're supposed to go up. Now I feel obligated to go down. Sorry, I know that's a little bit wasteful, but we get to see all the kitties again. That's always nice, right? There's probably nothing there. It was probably like one floor down, and then there's nothing really. Well, that'll give us a chance to count them on the way back up, maybe. Meow. Uh, that's where I came in. Okay. How about... How far... Can, oh. Stairs under repair. That is... Not good for that stair right there. Um... <laughs> and what conditions result in that happening exactly? <laughs> I can clearly get through this. Oh, but it's not gonna let me anyway. I could actually easily fit... Well, I'm supposed to be a spy. I should be able to totally, like, shimmy across this railing, or... You know, knock this down. Whatever. Okay, it's a game. Storytelling convention. I understand. I've been there. I've seen it. It's happened. Back up we go. Oh, I forgot to count. It's like five. Six. Alright, this is clearly not 30 flights here. Alright. So what's going on with this party? She looks a little wasted, maybe. Oh! You're the lady. You're that lady that shot me to death and then forced me to fly into traffic. I don't like you very much. Pretty sure that's her. Mmm, cameo, okay. Well, maybe we haven't double-crossed her yet or whatever. She double-crossed me. I don't know who double-crossed who. Maybe there's a quadruple crossing going on. That's quite a dance right there. Um, yeah, so grats to you guys. Uh, big grats. Um, sorry things aren't going to work out, I guess, because uh, they never do. I'm going to just... Oh, I thought I was going to eat all of that, or drink all of that, rather. That is a lot of alcohol. Or no, it's, it's non-alcohol? No, it is alcohol. The first one was the Canadian drink. That one was non-alcoholic. So let's uh, have a look around here. I like this animated fan thing. This is very cool looking. Nice, very smooth animation actually on it. Secret? Anything? No. Nope. Alright, who can I talk to here? This, Yeah, these guys are my, my pals here, so let's see what they have to say. Oh, time for a speech. Probably just everything's going to explode. And I really don't want that because everybody's doing well. 
Okay, Linus is gonna play on the piano in a second. Nothing to hear here. Oh, they're gonna dance. Everybody's gonna dance. So happy time. Oh, those two people are intersecting. Time to drink. Dude, bottoms up, bottoms up. Oh my goodness, look at all those bottles. Now everyone's flying away. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I've been there a couple times. Oh jeez, alright. Hang on, you're gonna fall down the stairs, lady. Be careful. Don't... Oh man. Oh, okay, it's that kind of night, is it? Uh, what's going on over here? I like this, this blurry effect, by the way. Can I eat an orange? I can. Can I throw an orange? Oh, I can actually peel it and everything. That's very cool. Feel a little bit bad leaving her, but she can wait a minute. Maybe I should bring an orange up to the kitties. They would like one. I don't even think I can leave, probably, but I'll try. Oh, what's that? It's the cat clock. And it's, uh... 1.21 a.m. It's actually pretty early for most people to be drinking to that extent. Usually this is... 1.21 is usually when you're just about starting. That's her equipment there and her shoes. Alright, lady. Are you sure you want to do this? You look a little... Oh. That's always how it goes, isn't it? You think things are going well, and then everyone's dying. Alright, so that ex accounts for why the floor tile is broken. Oh, okay, so we're back to pushing him around. I don't think I can push him through those. You know, the other thing this reminds me of is the geometry of Katamari Damacy, which is a great reference because I just absolutely love that game. Or that series, I should say. Drink to victory, maple victory. I should probably be hurrying considering this guy is dying. Oh, abs oh, crap. Those cameras. Oh, man, that's scary. <laughs> They've got our number, man. We gotta go! Oh, wow, that's... kind of dangerous, honestly. Barely made it through that. Forget your past. It's almost a little weird that you can rotate perfectly fast with this dude in tow, but, you know, who cares. Oh, I didn't notice that the shadows actually are dynamic. Uh, I didn't realize- I figured this was more of a uh, an older engine, so I didn't think they would put that kind of a nice feature in. Alright, what's going on here? I don't trust any- this is a wide open space. I've played enough video games to know wide open spaces mean danger. Absolutely. Oh no. Shoot them all, man! Take them out! What am I supposed to be doing here? There's some very odd sound effects going on right now. You got this, you got this, don't worry, you got two hands. Oh, that's a lot of those. Whoa. Wait, was that not her the whole time? Salida! Oh, and then we walk our way into the loving embrace of the law, or something. Off we go, speeding into the night. Uh, what am I trying to do? I, I think I might have just been steering that, actually. Where am I? What's going on? I'm confused. Oh... This is sad. I don't exactly understand, but it's... No! No! Holy crap. <laughs> that was crazy! Doom Driven. First Person Shooter 2012. <laughs> wow. It's an art exhibit. I love it. Everyone's standing around watching the art. What a self-referential and sort of brilliant way to tell a story. I, I don't think I've seen anything like this really before. I am uh, rather tickled by it, to be honest. Um, 
Guess I gotta keep walking around, though. Oh, does this just start over? Or no, we just get to walk through the credits, I guess. Very, very cool. I've been to a couple art galleries that were a little like this. Um, I would say, actually, art galleries like this, you'd be pretty hard-pressed to find one that had a car suspended up in the air. Usually they're a little more dry like this, you just see a bunch of schematic drawings, or like a table with some glass, and there's like a print in it. Wow, you got the whole biplane going on up there. Okay, what's through here? And here's his principal. Fast moving air creates low air pressure. <laughs> what? <laughs> the moving air pressure pushes the paper strips up. <laughs> they really went all out on this. Well then. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's like a really serious tongue-in-cheek joke going on right here. All birds need to fly are the right shaped wings, the right pressure, and the right angle. Or there's some kind of deeper metaphor or context going on that I'm not quite getting yet. I may need to do this, uh, play through this again, uh, just to catch everything. Because right now, since I'm sort of in commentary mode, my brain is not processing every little detail logically necessarily. That would be really unfortunate if I stood under this, and then it... Okay, it's not gonna let me. Oh! Okay, we're still on the bike. The end. I honestly don't know what to make of the story exactly. I mean, I get that there was some serious stuff going on, but I want to actually sort of rewatch my own video now and see what just happened uh, in greater detail. Because like I said, when you're talking and trying to understand everything, you miss way too much. What are those? Oh, it's the birds! You take pictures of them, they explode. Alright, well, that's gonna wrap us up for 30 Flights of Loving. A uh, very, very cool game, very interesting narrative. Uh, I loved it. So, uh, I highly recommend you guys check this out, it's on Steam. And you will get uh, Blendo Games' other uh, Gravity Bone right with it, and I, I definitely am gonna go back and check out that director's commentary, or developer's commentary, because I'm absolutely interested in knowing their perspective on all of the events that just took place. And of course, I'm not going to show that on camera just because, you know, I want there to be still a reason for you guys to go out and buy this because it's absolutely worth it. So thank you again for watching another episode of Indie Impressions, and uh, make sure you head on over to the website, which is www.indie-impressions.com, and you can stay up on whatever's going on with the channel, check out our forums, meet some cool people, uh, browse all the games that I've covered, and uh, just have a good time all around. You can also feel free to stop by my Facebook page, which is, which is facebook.com slash Indie Impressions, or my Twitters, at Rockley Smile and at Indie Impression. And I'll be uh, absolutely happy to talk to any of you guys, take any suggestions you might have, and uh, just see what's up. So thank you again for watching. I will see you tomorrow. I do one of these videos every single day, so make sure you stop back, and I will see you then. All right, have a great night, guys. Take care.